good morning so today we will uh, discuss on a topic uh, floating cities so you hear the word floating cities Okay. Model. No. What is it about? Uh, it's a floating upward uh, upward to the skies. Upward to the skies. Sky is called floating city. Can you give any example of such cities? Floating cities. Have you hear about it in your WhatsApp group or some Facebook videos? You might have seen no floating city. As a simple how do you feel about that floating cities? It is need of travel, right? Because we already we have uh, occupied all the places. As we know very well, uh, in our earth, only one third is there. Three portions are oh, under yeah. water. We cannot use it. Okay, that water also not useful when it is not in the form what we are expecting. At the same time, the space, the land also not in the required way. So what we are doing is the float. We are going for the floating cities. So you know what are the requirement of the city? So what should be a floating city? Based on you say, uh, any city or any development should be very sustainable. What do you mean by the word sustainable? Hmm? Uh, it should not affect the environment. Then any other point for sustainable development means no idea. Huh? It should be eco friendly. So it should be uh, environmental friendly or eco friendly. This was collecting from the environment. Uh, it is not affecting. Very good. We have to use the resource which is available on the environment, but we should not take more. Uh, we should not. We should mean like a greedy, clear, yes, yes. Uh? Green, yes. green environment yes. concept. Yes. So yes. if people are coming across such a such a thing, right? For example, if you take uh, your uh, what do you say, uh, green building, green building rating, all those things are we are doing, and we say the zero discharge, right? Grey water control, all those things are there. So this all are put together. So we are developing in a vertical way. Then it is called the floating city. Okay. So the floating city uh, will help us not only in terms of your uh, why they are calling it as a floating city. Any idea? Why they are calling it as a floating city? Hmm? Why? Hmm. They, they won't use any vehicles. So it will be connected in such a way that. You can reach one uh, one space into another space without any such interruptions. You, you, you no need to have any uh, mass or uh, rapid transport kind of systems. All those things are eliminated. We no need to have any other any other uh, information we need for floating city. Hmm. So. Uh, what is what is your expectation in your floating city? You understand now, right? So what is floating city? The city which are on the surface of the water. Land surface will not only be the so you will have the surface of the water. So what is your expectation? What should be there? Pollution free. Pollution free. Then water management. Water management is very important because if the water management in the sense it's a it's a collective it's a collective word. Uh, what how much water uh, you are you should not Pollute the water because you are going to have your structure over there, right? So, uh, even for the ship or some kind of uh, ship work or harbor and all what they are doing, are polluting more now. So, now we have uh, our environmental conservation system is controlling those things. But if you are structuring on the whole uh, water surface, well, how do we have to go about it? We have to get the water management. Any other point? The public and social interruption. Uh, public and social interruption should be ensured. So like in land we will have taxi, we have cycling, we have anything, something will be there. So like that we cannot walk right in the water. Right? So you should have some mechanism or some system through which you will ensure that you are reaching the your social people or the, you are reaching the people out of that. So that kind of uh, things are very important in a floating city. Thank you.